Hi everyone, I'm <laughs> Terry Swales. And I'm Carolyn Whetstone. He's my wife. And he's my husband. And we're Storm Chasers. Mm -hmm. She's part of the T-Swales Storm Chase team. A big part of it too, I might add. And we have another big trip coming up in June and we wanted to talk to you about it. Yes, this is a, a recruiting video to be quite honest. Um, this will be our 12th consecutive year and the past three years we have decided to take people along mm -hmm. on our tours with us to experience what it is that we see out there when we're chasing these storms. And we have met some amazing people. This has been so much fun, we just keep doing it. Right, and this is what is called a chase-cation. <laughs> and um, you're gonna go out for seven consecutive days and chase some of the biggest, baddest storms in the country, mm -hmm. in the world, to be quite honest with you. Where we're going through the plains, you never know what you'll see out there. It could be gorilla hail, it could be tornadoes, some incredible lightning or structure to these storms big spaceship type things, saucers, mm -hmm. they're fantastic to look at. And every one is an adventure. We have never had two chases alike. Every one has shown us different things. Um, remember that the, we were, I think in New Mexico when it looked like it had snowed down there because oh. of all the hail that just yeah. dropped at once. That was so much hail that it actually covered the ground and the temperature was so warm that it was putting up, you know, like a little fog across the ground. It was just amazing. So real. We've uh -huh. seen the, the leaves torn off the trees and things like that. Just some amazing sights. Mm -hmm. But anyway, so we want to tell you a little bit about what we're doing and see if you have any interest in coming along with us this year because we would love to have you. Yeah, and, and one other point I would like to touch on too is that, you know, we, we don't see storms all the time when we're out there. We're together across the country, going to these little towns and places off the grid that you'd never see before. And it's a really great bonding experience. All the people that have gone with us in the past we keep in touch with mm. a lot of them are coming back for this year's chase mm. and, um, and we have reunions with everybody yeah you know so we I mean. like to check in see how people are doing but it, it is a, a really close-knit group and when you're with someone that long for six or seven days you get to know them pretty well and you create a, a special bond <laughs> i like to say yeah come on over here there cup swales this is our uh, camera woman eden swales who's helping us out yeah and uh, eden just turned 15 so Happy birthday. She's uh, in a real good mood about that, I think, huh? <laughs> All right, well, let me show you another picture here. And uh, just to give you an idea, we talked about these experiences. This was in Watonga, Oklahoma, and that is Tom Skilling, who is a huge, huge name in the weather world. Tom was with us on this particular chase for a week. And then there's Reed Timmer there, who is also extremely big as a storm chaser. And of course, that is me. Carolyn was there, but uh, she must have been having a malt at that time. No, I think, I, think I was taking the picture. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, this was a wild experience, Carolyn, because we were at one of those um, Sonic restaurants where you can drive up. They have the drive-up stalls, and you order your meal from them. And that was a day it was high risk. Yes. risk. So the entire Chase community was pretty much converging on one point. And it turned out to be this Sonic restaurant where there must have been, I don't know, 30, 40 yeah. chasers there. Yeah, that was after the day was done. Mm -hmm. And everybody was hungry and just stopped. And there you can see the Dominator that uh, Timmer drives around. We got to get in there and mess around with that, take a look at it a little bit. But all kinds of, of chasers were there. And everybody talked weather for about three mm -hmm. hours that night. And um, It's not unusual to, to run into these folks. I mean, you're all pretty much targeting the same areas. and. And everybody just loves to chat you up and and exchange experiences, and they're they're great. Right. They really are. And so, if you decide to come with us, you're gonna gonna meet here probably in the Cedar Rapids area, and then we'll be out for about seven days, and there'll be a meet and greet orientation, you know, and we'll go over the goals of the trips and uh, all the things that you're gonna get out of it, and a little safety practices as well. And everybody gets a tswells.com Chase t-shirt, uh, autographed copies of our books, and a Terry Souls bobblehead, and of course a group photo, and the folks, um, we usually exchange photographs and videos. So. Oh, everybody does. We all mm -hmm. put our pictures and our videos together, and you're going to get a whole litany of things at the end to look back on your experience and say, yeah, I was there, did it, and this is one of the things you might see. This is a triple vortex tornado. Multiple. That we <laughs> Well, there's three, so... At least three there. Mm -hmm. There might be more. But it is what's known as a multiple vortex tornado. 
and that's part of our team there and you can see that passing on by got some terrific video of that that was a very exhilarating experience to say the least got the adrenaline going well that was cool. that was an f3 and that was um near wakita oklahoma where the tornado hall of fame is mm -hmm. located how odd is that show them the cool luxurious vehicles that well, we have thanks to that's a big deal too Dahl yeah. ford our I, wonderful I, sponsors from Davenport. Yeah, I think this is also important to mention too, just very quickly, that you know, if you're into severe weather and you want to learn it and understand it, you have got four different meteorologists that'll be on the trip. And we understand severe weather analysis and forecasting, and we want to teach that to you. That's one of the big goals of this, is for you to understand this whole experience better. And uh, you can hopefully go out on your own after this and maybe get your own storm or at least be... Um, understanding of the whole process and what it takes to do this. So you're going to learn about the formation structure and dynamics of severe weather. And that, Carolyn, brings us to our good friends, Dahl Ford. This was our chase vehicle from last year, and it was incredible. We uh, had huge windows, lots of light room. It was very comfortable. I think everybody really enjoyed this vehicle. Oh, yeah. Stereo in stereo. there, XM, you know. Damn. But every year they provide an amazing vehicle. So that was last year, and then show them the one from the, this is what we had the year before. And these are brand new vehicles that Dahl Ford gives to us. Like $65,000 oh, vehicles. Oh, they're, they're just amazing. They're just luxury. You will not find that mm -mm. in any other no. Chase group. I can guarantee you brand new. So we thank Dahl Ford rides. very, very much. Yeah, so that's fantastic. And then when we stay at night, you know, um, we have a couple different packages we'll touch on in just a second, but you're always going to have a, a nice area to rest your head after a long day mm. out there chasing storms and eating junk food. And, and we usually target like Fairfield, Hampton, Holiday yeah. Inn Express, Comfort Inn. Those are the hotels that I try to book yep. when we're out on the road um, for the most part. Yeah, we'll stay in a nice place. You're not going to be in any dive or feel any threat, that's for sure. And one of the people that's with us is Colby Martin. We have a really excellent staff of meteorologists. All have lots and lots of chase experience. Colby's seen many, many tornadoes, mm -hmm. multiple tornadoes. One of the best chasers. And uh, yeah, so he'll be heading up the group as well. Nice guy. All these people that we go mm -hmm. with. And we usually have three uh, expert chasers with us. So mm -hmm. lots of people to bounce ideas off and learn from and just enjoy their company. Yep, and so every morning when we get up, the first thing we do then is we all sit down, we have a little powwow, and we talk about the day's chase, where we're going to go, what we might uh, see and do, but we really want to hone in on our target. That's the main issue there. We get that all figured out, and then we're off, and we'll actually go to a place sometimes, and it's perfectly sunny, and we'll sit there and watch the actual storms billow up in front of us, and in 45 minutes' time, you, you might actually have a tornado. It happens that fast, and you can see the whole process which is pretty outstanding. And again, you can see we're going to be where there's a lot of other chasers as well. So if you're into the chase community or want to be a part of it, you're going to get a chance to meet some people there. And, and you were thinking it might be a pretty good year. For I'm, I'm thinking mm -hmm. uh, right now I'm optimistic about it. There are some things that I do like in the overall setup with a long wave pattern around the nation. And so I'm, I'm expecting we'll have a good, um, good year. And I think our dates are May 25th through June 1st, correct? That's correct, yes. Yes, so that's a dead hard date here. That's what we're doing. No changes to that. That's when we're going. And if we have a couple of down days and we do something fun, like we went to uh, Mount Rushmore one year, and that was awesome. Yeah, there you can see uh, some of the group members there. Yeah. There's, there's our presidents back there on yeah. the rock. And there's our good friend. John Miller. Bow-legged John Miller. <laughs> <laughs> he's our social We're just director. teasing him because he's, a, he's an excellent friend oh, and a, and a yes. great chaser. Uh, yes, all of these guys we've they gotten are. to be good friends with they, over the years. Yeah. They've been back. And, um, you know, even if you didn't see a tornado, these are things that you can expect to see. We're going to see amazing structure. Mm -hmm. These big, um, you know, saucer-like looking thunderstorms. They look like alien Flying spaceships. saucers, yes. And uh, the lightning that you'll see and the, the large hail, all of the elements of weather, that just the power in, of nature is just grandiose, spectacular. And so um, I think we're going to give you one of the best prices you could possibly hope for. Most of the tour groups that are out there now are between $2,500 and $4,000. That's up to as much as $500, $550 a day. If you want a single room just by yourself, we can do it for $2,400. 
But if you're willing to take on a roommate, it's 2200 mm -hmm. And I'm telling you right now, you will be hard pressed to find anything that's even close to that, especially with the brand new vehicles and the experience that we have with our group. So that's a really tremendous price. Plus, if you decide to go again with us next year, we'll even take a little bit off that too and knock off another $150 for next year's chase. So um, we're getting set again for May 25th, and we want everybody to consider being a part of this with us. Um, I think we'll have a really great bonding experience. If you want to learn about weather, you're going to learn about weather. If you want to have some fun, you're going to have the people to do that with. And um, I think it'll be a once in a lifetime experience. Yes, Get out of your box and, and join us. It is, it's absolutely amazing. All right then, hope to hear from you. Carolyn S. Whetstone. At yahoo.com Yahoo. is com. my email, but you can also go to tswells.com and there'll be a link at the top which you can click on and that'll give you the information yeah, Scrolling too. across the page of my blog there. So, um, hope, to, hope you join us mm -hmm. and we surely do appreciate you finding out what our chase is about this year, the 12th consecutive year. Right, love. Absolutely.